A simple and easy way of loose fit dress shirts for men. Hi, I'm Jean. Welcome to Pattern Studio 101. This channel is all about pattern making. If you love my videos, why don't you join my email list? Once a week, I send extra pattern making lessons right into your inbox. You can join my email list on my website, patternstudio101.com. Dress shirt today. Traditionally, dress shirts were for men worn with a tie and formal blazer. Now it's kind of basic item almost everyone has, and its fit also varies. You can see very loose, boxy fits of dress shirts for men and women, or pretty fitted dress shirts both for men and women. You can make a side dart or a waist dart for women to have a little bit of shape. But today, I'll make a very simple, loose fit dress shirt. My example for today is for men, but because it's a boxy fit, you can apply this for women's dress shirts as well. I'm going to draft from scratch, maybe the bodies today and the sleeves next week. Get your measurement ready. You need chest circumference, shoulder width, back length, back length from the center back neck to the waist, sleeve length, and shirt length. For the shirt length, you can take it from the reference sample or simply calculate it your model's height minus 40 inches. If you're a centimeter user, minus 100 centimeter. That's pretty good starting point. Draw a rectangle. The vertical is the shirt length, and the horizontal is the chest divided by two plus about three inches for ease. Find a midpoint and draw a line. The left is going to be the back. The right side is going to be the front. For the armor depth, chest circumference divided by five plus three inches. Draw a line. Measure the back length and draw the waistline. Okay, this is a base frame for a shirt. Let's start with the back. From the center back neck point, measure chest divided by 12. And again, divided by three. Measure one of them, go up the same amount, which means the chest divided by 36, right? I don't normally calculate it, I just go up one inch for woman, one inch and a quarter or max one inch and a half for men. But I just wanted to tell you, you can calculate like this. Draw a back neck curve. From the center back neck, measure half of the shoulder width. Go down three quarters of an inch. Connect to the high shoulder point. I'm going to extend half of an inch. If it's a really, really boxy fit, like big, you can drop the shoulder one inch or even two inches, but I just want to have a little wider shoulder for this shirt. I'm going to use this shoulder line as a cross back. Find the midpoint and draw an armhole curve passing that point. Let's make a back yoke line and a tuck. I'm gonna go down four inches from the center back neck and draw a yoke line. At the armhole, mark quarter of an inch and make a dart about three inches long. Let's zoom out. You can have a side seam and the hem straight like this but I want to make side seams slightly curved and make the hem short tail. So take out half of an inch at the waist, go up two inches from the hem, 
Then draw a side seam like this. And the hem. Oh, tucks. Okay, on the yoke line at the center back, extend one inch. And draw a line all the way down to the hem. Okay, let's move to the front. Mark the high shoulder point, chest divided by 12. And the front neck drop, same, chest divided by 12. Draw the front neck curve. Measure the cross back and find the cross chest by calculating cross back minus half of an inch. So it's half of an inch smaller than cross back, right? So this is cross chest guideline. Go down one inch and a half. Connect to the high shoulder point and extend the line to be the same length as the back shoulder. Find the midpoint of this guideline and draw a front arm hole curve. For the side seam, take out half of an inch at the waist, go up two inches from the hem, then draw a side seam. For the front hem, I'm going to lengthen it by half of an inch at the center front and draw a short tail. You need a front extension for the button closer. Extend half of an inch and draw a line. On the center front line, I'm going to have the first button two inches and a half down from the center front neck. Last button would be six inches and a half up from the hem. Then you can divide equally for six buttons. Okay, I want my shoulder seam sit on the front like this. So draw a new shoulder seam one inch from the original seam and cut it out, attach to the back shoulder. Here's the dress shirt body patterns. Back yoke in red, back body in blue, and the front in pink. You can see without base lines. I'm going to draft the sleeve pattern next week. And I'll show you not only the sleeve, but also cuff and placket for cuff opening. If you are a pattern maker, join my Facebook group Pattern Making Professionals. I post pattern making tutorials there as well. The link is in the description box. This channel is totally dedicated for young professionals to take their pattern making skills to the next level. Have a beautiful week. See you next time.